Hi, I'm Rabbi Kay, and here at Reform Judaism, we get all kinds of questions about Shabbat and how to do it. These are the things that you're going to need for Shabbat. You will need a tzedakah box, you will need candlesticks with candles in it, a kiddush cup with wine or juice in it, and challah with a cloth to cover it. So the first thing that we do for Shabbat is to put some money in a tzedakah box. And tzedakah is our practice of giving money to those who are in need. We think it's a nice way to start Shabbos by giving some tzedakah. The second thing that we do is we light Shabbat candles. And after we light the candles, we bring our hands to our eyes three times, cover our eyes, and say the blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu l'ahadikner, l'ahadikner shel Shabbat. And as we uncover our eyes, Shabbat has begun. The next thing that we do is we say Kiddush, which is the blessing over the fruit of the vine or the wine or grape juice that you have. And it's always good to have a prayer book with you so that you're sure that you're saying the words with intentionality. You're going to elevate your cup of wine or your grape juice, and there are two versions of Kiddush. One is longer, one is shorter. So for now, we're going to use the shorter version for the sake of brevity. But if you look right here, you'll see a link, and if you go to that link, you can find the language and the words and the audio of the longer version as well. So, raise our Kiddush cup. Say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Puri HaGafen. The last thing that we do is we bless the challah. So you may notice that some people use two chalot or maybe use a little bit of salt, which is part of Jewish custom, but you're going to take the cover off, you're going to lift your challah up, and you're going to say the blessing, which is, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz. And then lots of people will say, Bateavon at the end. Now, some families are cutting families, some families are tearing families. It's kind of up to you to figure out what you want to be. And then we say Shabbat Shalom.